Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at the Salt Lions. I just dumped off, well, I suppose not really dumped off, but I just allowed the Nacreous Outcast to go do his thing here. Yeah, he's still with me. And still rubbery and Cthulhu-y. So now that that's done, it's time to head down to the Isle of Cats and see if I can continue the Trade in Red Honey quest with Zayra, the Lady of the Cages. So, let's just go ahead and head straight there. Plenty of supplies and fuel. I'm gonna go a little bit easy on my lights since my terror is very, very low. I've got plenty of fuel, but I just want to be a little bit conservative. Because you really don't want to run out of fuel. I don't know what happens if you run out. I'm just assuming you just... Well, I don't know. Maybe you die? Maybe you can row back or something? Maybe you can... Render the fat from your zailers into lard and put that in, <laughs> in as fuel? I don't know. I don't really intend to find out. Going through a dark patch here, so there might be somewhere new. Heading into the Sea of Lilies. Looks like the illumination from the li lily pads themselves takes down my terror, is that true? No, it still looks red. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like if you get close to them, it does actually take down the terror. What is that noise? Is that my own ship? Because it sounds weird. I don't know, I think I just got freaked out by the sound of my own ship. Yeah, it was just the sound of my own ship. It sounded like the engine sound was kind of like coming from the left channel more than the center. As if there was another ship or something. I don't know, it was weird. A message for Zayra. How is the Venturer? Still a rubbery man? He isn't. Are you quite sure? The Lady of the Cages rubs her cheek. Maybe that part comes later. I shall have to make a note. She really is not bound to time like normal. Wait, she's saying so... She's saying that the Venturer... The Venturer Merchant either was a rubbery man or is going to be. Okay. Hand her the medallion. Urchins, again. I'll tell the sisters to prepare the baths. Whoa. Wh what do you... Shit. What do you want to give me? What? What is she giving me? Apparently I need 19 more slots? What? <gasps> no! No, what have I done? Supplies? Holy shit. She wants to give me like 50 bajillion supplies. I wish you told me you were paying me in a fuck ton of supplies. I would have brought, like, none here. Oh my god. Oh, and, and casks of mushroom wine. Oh, fuck me. Uh. Um. 
crap. Okay. I'm gonna have to dump something overboard. No! So much lost money! I shouldn't have come here first. Yeah, 20 supplies, 10 casks of mushroom wine, and 200 echo. That was definitely worth it. Not directly for the money itself, but kind of for... just... money by proxy? I mean, this is stuff that I would have bought anyway and would cost me a lot of money. I mean, 20 supplies, that's 400 echo worth. And the casks of mushroom wine, I think they're 30 or 40 echo each. So yeah, that's about 300, 400 echo right there. Um... I mean, ideally, I'd toss over all my fuel and just go with the supplies, because supplies are worth more than fuel, but I need the fuel to actually move, so that's not going to happen. Um, shit. I wish there was a way you could do something about this and just say, like, no, okay, I don't want to do this quest just yet, you know, just, like, save the goods for me at this place and I'll come back for them later or something. But, uh, apparently you can't do that. It's good to know. You know, now in the future I won't bring a full hold over here. But without a bigger ship, you're pretty much guaranteed to have to dump stuff. She gave me 10 of that and 30 of that, which leaves me 10 open spaces, which means I would have had to arrived here with like 5 supplies and 5 fuel, which just ain't gonna happen. Damn it. Alright, mushroom wine. Um, let me see what it's worth. Can sell it for 23. 23. 24. Okay, so it's worth slightly more than supplies. So I should dump supplies instead of mushroom wine, is what that means. Keep as much mushroom wine as possible. Oh Jesus, do I really want to do that? No. It's almost 400 echo worth of supplies. Fuck! You really don't have, like, a, a storage warehouse where you can put this stuff in, huh? <sighs> Goodbye, 19 supplies. I feel like I should play a sad song and mourn the loss of all the money. Farewell. <laughs> Kaplunk. Alright, well. What's done is done. Let's tend the rose garden? That sounds like a euphemism. Um, wait, what is this? This is new, isn't it? Before you is a garden washed with blood. A sea of petaled crimson. They say these particular exile's roses are of a variety crossbred with a flower from hell. That would explain the stench of brimstone underneath the sweetness. Winding paths lead to irregular rows of cages, each covered in tangles of thorn and vine. Some of the prisoners inside the cages call out to you. Others mutter to themselves or weep. A few simply stare, hopeless and silent. Good, you're here. Zayra snips a rose head with her shears. I'd like a new addition to the garden. Could I borrow one of your crew? Well, have one, really. I doubt you'd want them back after. What the fuck? I may have chosen the wrong person to become a, pat a patron of. Maybe. Um... A garden washed with blood. Okay, so... A sea of petaled crimson. And each of the cages are covered in tangles of thorn and vine. What is happening here? What's happening to the people in the cages? Are the roses feeding from them? I can offer her a person. Refusal will lock you out of this quest. I think I want to be locked out of this quest. Offer a prisoner, don't have one. Call eyed engineer, don't have him. Irrepressible cannoneer, I do have him, but I'm not giving him up.
Could you have heard her correctly? You're not going to leave one of your crew in this nightmarish place. I could offer a crewman. I don't need to do this to keep doing honey, right? Because this isn't related to honey, is it? Um... Okay, this is completely out of, like, roleplay for my character, but uh, I'm going to give her one of my crewmen just because I'm really curious what's going to happen. It doesn't make any sense for my character. My character would not do this, but... But, uh, I I'm just really curious. No! Don't give me more stuff! Fuck! What did you give me this time? More supplies and I'm going to have to dump overboard. Thanks. Alright, well this has been a trip full of money wasting. Oh god, I wish there was something you could do about that. You can't. You you can't go back. You, as far as I know, you can't store these. You can't do anything with them. You just have to dump. And there's no way to know you're about to actually get supplies or anything. Hmm. Memories of Salt and Z. Hmm. She'll do nicely. Won't you? Yes, I think so. Yes. Have you had a little accident, my dear? No matter. The flowers like the ammonia. Oh god, what have I done? Jesus Christ. Goodbye, 200 more echo worth of supplies. What if I just continue without doing this? Does this just stay overlaid on my screen? Yeah, it does. Kablunk. Maybe I should just shouldn't talk to her ever again. She'll just keep handing me supplies and I'll just have to keep dumping them in the ocean. Alright. Leopold has a particular fascination with the surface. He still thinks of it as home, in some ways. Endearing, isn't it? She doesn't wait for you to answer. Personally, I've drunk the memories of so many homes. I couldn't pick a particular one out of the lot. Tricky things. Still, it does make him easier to buy birthday presents for. Have I muddled this up? I did say I set up a meeting with the king for you, didn't I? Well, I did. Oh, thanks. Well, I guess I'm kind of committed now. Yeah, if I refuse, I'll be locked out of further work for, Z for Zaira. Zyra. Zaira, Zyra? Not sure which one to go for. Both pronunciations are fine. I guess I'll bring a gift. Someone with memories from the surface. It's not his birthday, exactly. But you'll want to make a good impression. Your patron dismisses you with the advice that the Kumian Canal is the likeliest place to source such a particular gift. Oh, yeah! There is a quest there to go to the surface, and it takes a crap ton of fuel, doesn't it? And maybe even supplies. Hmm. You are seeking a gift for the Pirate King. So I guess I can't work for her further until I do that, I suppose. Or... Oh, I need a key to the cage gardens for that, to even do that, so yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's get a port report. So what if I go back to the Abbey? Her offering. So that's not going to work. So yeah, I do need to do that if I want to continue. And what if I go back to the Honey Tongue? I could meet the King's Claw, but I don't think there's any point to that, because... Wait, what is this? Promises made. You have caught the interest of the Pirate King, and therefore my interest as well. You seem capable enough, and I have need of a capable friend. Now, I can't become your patron if I'm Zayra's patron. 
but I could do this. One of the courtesans of the honey tongue bends down to whisper in Isri's ear, and they give you a thoughtful look. What is this? Dear me, it appears I have made my offer rashly, Isri says, ushering you out of their office with perfect courtesy. You're already taken. Do say hello to Zayra, won't you? What an excellent eye she has. Okay, yeah, so I can't do anything there either. Okay, Cumin Canal. Lots of fuel. And as it so happens, the canal is quite close to the Iron Republic where you can buy very cheap fuel. So that wouldn't be too bad. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do that for the moment. No, I'm not going to worry about that right now. God, I can't believe I just dumped like 600 Echo worth of supplies. Fuck me. I had no damn way of knowing. I just assumed if she was going to pay me, it would be an Echo. Alright, well, let's head up to Khan's Shadow to sell my box of angry dream snakes, and then over to Godfall and use up my candles. And then, now I've got the mushroom wine, so I guess I might as well use up my mushroom wine at Godfall as well. It's actually going to work very well, because I believe I can give them as much mushroom wine as they can take. And I think I have two shipments worth. Yeah, I've got ten. And they take batches of five, so that's fine. Oh man, my terror has increased a lot from those story events. In fact, it'd be best if I avoided this fog, but, uh... Okay, I guess I will. I was gonna say it'd be quite a detour to go around it, but then again, there's a very angry shark, so I think I'll go around it anyway. There's something under the water. I'm gonna turn off my lights for a second here. Alright, we're good. So, I've lost some crew. And I might lose another one going to... Ace to to get some more supplies. I do intend to go there at some point. I don't have to. It's just a very nice way to get cheap supplies. Oh, wait a minute. There's actually a harbor here. Is this the prison place? This is the prison place. I don't have a prisoner. Let's get a port report. Yeah, so I encountered this in a previous life. 12% chance of success. Ugh. Typical crappy shop. Yep, time to go. Nothing special to do there. We can go ahead and sell the box of angry dream snakes. There we go. 500 echo. Pretty good. Alright. So do I want another empty mirror catch box so that I can have him sleep again? Because I need to do that, don't I? If I want to advance his quest. Allow him to enjoy his sleep. Yeah, I think I need to do it again. I mean, we're over here, so I, I might as well do it. Yeah, let's do it. So let's buy another empty mirror catch box. So 
Let's get a port report. And let's head over to Godfall. Let's go down here where, so we're not in the, uh, the fog. I'm just gonna dock. Don't really want to fight you. You're just gonna keep splish splashing, aren't you? All right, hold on. Yeah, fuck off. Turn around. That's right. <laughs> They're just gonna keep doing donuts out there, waiting for me to leave port. Assholes. Okay, I want more room in my hold. So I'm just going to dump all my wine. You can have two of these. 150 Echo. Thank you. 150 Echo. Thank you. Okay, now I've got room. 24 out of 40. Okay, and now... Now I can explore the Shattered Citadel thanks to my Foxfire Candles. Another reason that I got six candles instead of just five is because this weird thing it says here. The more Foxfire Candles you have, the better. Bad things will happen if you run out. Which almost seems to imply that you want to have more than the amount that you need. So I'm not really sure if that's what it means, but, you know, just to be careful. I went with six instead of five. Oh shit, I can help the adventurers seek a glorious death in a duel here. Hmm. Well. Before that, let's explore the Shattered Citadel. Before the stalactite was a monastery, before it ever fell from the roof, it was a citadel. The fall shattered it and killed all its occupants. Probably. Why don't you take a look? Through the cellars. The monks have blocked the tunnels into the citadel. The starved men lived there, one says vaguely. They're all dead, of course, but you still wouldn't want to meet them. Still. There's a gap in the cellar wall that they keep meaning to fix. Oh my god. Whoa, this is cool and creepy. Okay. Exploring the Shattered Citadel. All the neath is dark. The Citadel is dark as only a once bright place can be. It hung up there among the false stars, drowned in azure light for... how long? Now it's here. So are you. Very bad things will happen if you run out of candles. <gasps> okay. I still have all my candles, right? You have six. Unlocked with one Foxfire Candles. Okay, so this is... Foxfire Candles are my... Coins. This, this is an arcade game. And every Foxfire Candle is a coin that gives me a new... A new run at the game. Except if you run out, you die. And I can always leave for free. Okay, oh. Retrace your steps. Hmm. Okay, thanks to my very good mirror skill, I have a 100% chance of, act of actually succeeding that. Hmm. Right, well, I can't retrace until I've gone deeper. I think I might want to come back here with a lot more than six candles. But uh, for now, let's go deeper. The citadel lies on its side. All its halls and tunnels tilt crazily. Edge your way through, like an ant through a broken puzzle box. I succeeded, of course. You found your way deeper into the citadel. Lost a candle. Wind gusts. You are in the second tangle of tunnels. You found something, or it's found you. 
A labyrinth of dwelling galleries. You hear the Z. The passage branches and opens into a tangle of galleries on the skin of the surface. There are doorways to dwelling places. All empty now. All leading into one another like cells of a honeycomb. Perhaps you can find your way through. 100% chance of success, okay. Painstaking progress. You make your way through an asymmetrical foam of beehive dwellings, past faded frescoes of the sea seen from above, beneath swags of cobweb where single sorrow spiders scuttle, past a long mummied human corpse. Its limbs are curled and knotted like vines. What happened here? Interesting. Yeah, so this thing, this citadel came, f it was a, a stalactite, right? So it came from the ceiling of the, the Z. Whatever you call the top of, what's the top of the Z called? I forgot. The cavern roof, I guess. Um, so this came from up there and it says, Faded frescoes of the sea seen from above. So the frescoes were actually made by the people who lived in here when it was actually still a stalactite attached to the the top of the Z. Interesting. Okay, so I've still got five candles, so I'm still good. Let's go deeper. Do, 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 same as before. Lost a candle, everything's the same. So, that means I'm going to have to retrace my steps twice, which means I'm going to consume two candles getting out. So I've got to keep that in mind. Once again, a labyrinth, 100% chance of success. Yep, same as before. Hmm. Right, so again, it's going to take me Two candles to retrace my steps. I have four, so I might as well go one deeper. Yeah, let's go one deeper. You've reached the midpoint of the citadel. Okay, so it takes three candles to get to the midpoint. Which means if I wanted to fully venture this place, I might want to bring 12 candles here instead of six, right? Three to get to the middle, three more to get to the end, six to get back. Let the Nacreous Outcast approach the altar. Oh, whoa! I can do something with him. Well, that's got to be better than just searching, right? Something that involves an officer. That's got to be something, something very interesting. So I can search the Church of the Starved Men, which are the people that apparently lived here before. A crucible chamber with a great altar, or cruciform chamber with a great altar. Rows of rotting pews. Perhaps the windows once held stained glass. But the altar is dripstone, painstakingly carved into organic shapes. Jointed limbs, eye bulbs, snapping claws, armored excrences? Excretions? Let's let the Nacris outcast approach the altar. He burbles, his... Frondules tremble. Imitatorsh? The outcast burbles. They stole our Axile art. They fought they would be us. It shakes with rage or laughter and collapses before the altar. Still the change remains. The change remains. It's the longest speech you've ever heard from it. It remains motionless in prayer while you search. An inscription on the altar reads, So are we shaped. The stonecraft is perfect, but the spelling seems eccentric. Two stone knives rest on its surface, along with a chunk of flint that might be a knife, a tool, or simply a lump of rock. Three human skulls wait in a niche at the back. Two have warped and lengthened jaws. The third has slumped and run like a melted candle, although it feels as solid as any bone to the touch. What now? 
You can press on, but the going will get harder from here. Or you could turn back with your treasures. Let's see, what have I gained? Oh my god, three secrets? An ambiguous eolith, two Atlantis artifacts, and three lamentable relics. Nice. Okay, well, I'm not going deeper, because I just have enough candles to get out. So, let's go back. Yep, everything's, everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good, now we can leave. A cheer. Money changes hand between monks as you emerge. <laughs> oh, they were betting on me. As you emerge, blinking into the light of their lamps. It is their custom to make bets on the fate of travelers who enter the citadel. Not all of them are cheering. <laughs> Some thought we wouldn't come back out. Okay, I want to come back here with more. That was very cool. That was really, really cool. So, I'm curious, what is... What is the ambiguous Elith worth? Because I've seen that before. There it is. Looks like you can... Oh, you can buy it for 35 at Mount Palmerston? That's nothing. Or you can buy one for one secret at Aram, which is a terrible price. And that's it. Yeah, so that thing's kind of a piece of crap. Uh, but the other stuff is pretty good. Not so much for selling, although you could sell the Lamentable Relics and stuff, but uh, mostly just because you can use them for various story events. And they don't, they don't take up any hold room, which is nice. Okay. So now I have a crap ton of hold space. Ah, <sighs> All those supplies. Let's get a port report. Alright, let's see if we can help the adventurous seek a glorious death in a duel. The shouting monks revel in battle. Their abbot commander is a savage veteran of a hundred duels and monster hunts. Outrage. We do, not f we do not fight women, one sneers. If we wanted to fight women, we'd be over at Abbey Rock. You're not over at Abbey Rock, the adventurous suggests because the sister's training is so very much deadlier. Then fight them, the monks respond haughtily. Okay. Not gonna happen here. Maybe I could go... over there and have her <laughs> duel with them. Maybe. That really would not terribly surprise me. Alright, let's teach some foos a lesson. No, it's turning around. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't, don't shoot at me. Turn around. Now we fight. Five supplies. Ooh. That's a hundred echo worth. That's really, really nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just realized I'm heading into a fucking face. Alright, hold on a second. I, so, um, <laughs> I'm going to head to Poly 3 next, and as soon as I take down the map, I'm going to turn a hard left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Creepy ass things. Yeah, I can't remember. If, I can't remember if polythreme cells feel, but I really could use some. I went through more than I thought I would. Restless night. Ignore it. Lost one tear. Doing pretty good on tear. Twenty six. Not bad. Gonna leave my lights off until I know that I can get fuel here. I probably should have bought some at Con Shadow because it wasn't too expensive there. I think it was fifteen. So, like, 50% over normal price. Ooh, hello.
Ow. A page from a journal. On the day we saw the pillars of Aram, they are not what I expected. Aram is the place one does not expect. That is its nature. You have seen it in your dreams. Yes, you, who found this page long after my death. I knew when I wrote those these words that you would read them one day. Aram taught me this, and now Aram's lesson is all that remains of me. Jesus Christ. That is really creepy. Get a port report. And let's carry Clayman to London. Ah, so they do not sell fuel, okay. Alright, so I have plenty of supplies, not much fuel. Which means I don't really need to go to Aestavel. So where should I go? I'm sure I can get fuel at Savior's Rocks, although it's probably not a good price. Um... Hmm. Perhaps... Okay, let's head up to Nuncio just to get a port report and see what's going on there, and then let's go to Port Cecil and see if I can maybe turn in the chess piece that I got at the Salt Lions. Now, I'm sure I'm going to be able to buy fuel at one of those places, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave my lights on. Should be fine. I wonder if I can rouse the faces under the water if I sound my horn when I'm next to them. I'm so close to Aestavel. I don't need the supplies, but you know what, I just remembered I, I could go for some strange catches. Because Aram sells them for pretty cheap, and I need strange catches to have dinner with two of my officers. I believe these two, I think. So let me see if they sell fuel here, because if they do, then I'm just going to buy a bunch and go to Aram. Aestavel and Aram. They do. Okay, it's expensive, but that's fine. So I don't want to use up my something awaits me in port, because I want to use that in Aestavel. So let's just get a port report. buy a bunch of fuel. How much do I need? There, there. Then where am I going? I want to stop at Port Cecil next. 15 fuel? 15 fuel should be fine. Oh, restless night. Ignore it. And let's go. Another restless night? That was quick.
Port report. Gather supplies. Oh, another really good run. Didn't lose any Zaylers and got 10 supplies. Sweet. Don't have to worry about supplies for quite a long time. Alright, let's head up to Aram. So I want to make sure that I repair my boat when I get back to London, and also get some more Zaylers. Prices for stuff at Aram are really, really bad. An empty mirror catch box for three secrets. 250 echo. I mean, three secrets is worth way more than 250 echo. That's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I need some strange catches to have to uh, dine with my officers. But that is probably going to going to unlock a bunch of pretty lengthy conversations and stuff like that, so before dining with my officers, I think I will end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will have some very, very strange fish with my officers and find out what they want to do.